Uh, here we are at the uh, Cruise America Rental Center. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Th this isn't that. Th this is where we catch the uh, tour bus. Uh, no. The school bus? No. Oh, actually, this is Monument Valley. This is Monument Valley. Look, look at this place. I mean, I mean, there's that. I mean, that's really cool, right? But yeah, this is the Monument Valley Visitor Center. We paid uh, twenty dollars to get in here. There are uh, uh, at least seven rental uh, RVs, probably about the same number of tour buses, um, and then all these cars behind us. Oh, um, and you're forgetting the RV parking down that way. There's even more RVs. Oh, there are more RVs way. down that way too. Yeah, we. Uh, we're at Monument Valley today. We're gonna to go check it out. Uh, I suspect it's going to be crowded. I suspect uh, There's gonna to be tons of people and lots of tourists and what have you um, Not that it's a bad place. No, it looks beautiful. I mean, we've only seen a little bit of it. It looks beautiful It's just that there's a lot of people here um, But our initial impressions are that Valley of the Gods is far superior The rock formations may not be as large they may not be as famous because of all the movies that these have been in. Mm -hmm. But we didn't pay 20 bucks to get in. Uh, we do see a handful of rental RVs, yeah. but they drive right past. No tour buses. No. No parking lots, no visitor centers. No. Just us mm -hmm. out there in the middle of the splendor. Yeah. So anyway, we're going to go see for real. Maybe what's in here is so spectacular that we will ignore all of this and the fact we paid 20 bucks for the privilege and just yeah uh, and just honestly, love it but I, i'm totally going into this completely cold i have no idea what what's here yeah, i don't know he doesn't either so i don't know i mean but i'm sure it's beautiful in there but yeah. but we'll see what the ancillary experience is like you know the paying and the crowds and all that we'll see if it's we'll, we're, we'll see which one's better yeah. all right so we're gonna we're gonna the visitor center and then we're gonna head out on the uh, the tour, 17 mile tour, just like a Valley of the Gods. We're on the road. Sorry, there's a uh, tour bus idling over there. There's also a lot of these tour vehicles back there. And uh, anyway, West, East, Mitten, and Merrick Butte are uh, right here. Well, hold on. Oh my God. So there's uh, West Mitten, East Mitten and Merrick Butte. Uh, this is the first stop. Uh, it's not the best picture spot because they're so spread out. There's a better picture spot of these up on the road where they don't allow you to park, but you can get a decent one up at the visitor center. So as you can see, uh, this is the first opportunity we had to stop, and they're selling you, you know, jewelry and whatever. Tour buses, tour trucks. Uh, there's no motorcycles or RVs allowed on this road. So if you came here in RV, you need to take one of those, those tours. If you came on motorcycle, you need to take one of those tours. Don't come on a motorcycle if you have other means of conveyance. Uh, because the tours are open air and they don't look, this road's super dusty. You can see the plumes of dust from all the people driving. It's, it's gotta be terrible. There you go, look at that. It is beautiful. It's it's really this it's really pretty. This first step is beautiful, yeah. Oh, yeah, it's really pretty, yeah. I'm gonna walk down to the end. It'll be a lot a lot prettier when this uh, diesel tour bus stops idling. One minute, 37 seconds later. Well, there's there's Wes Mitten again, but we have a better shot of uh, Merrick, and it's not crowded. There's only one other car here, as of right now. That may change. The big difference between here and Valley of the Gods is is these are so much larger. They are, I don't know, twice as twice as high, maybe. It's just they're they're it's much bigger formations, but uh, um, but very similar otherwise. I mean, you know, same kind of deal. You know, the the hard rock up top, and and uh, you know, it's all sloughing off on the bottom there. So it's pretty cool though, and it's nice. There's uh, we got away from the crowd, so that's always that's always good.
We are at uh, Elephant Butte. I guess I see it. Vaguely looks like an elephant. Uh, it's just it's just down from uh, Merrick and the Mittens. Probably see the shiny stuff up there on the uh, the hill back there. That's the next major stop where all the, the, the tour trucks go where they're gonna sell us more jewelry and stuff, so. I don't know if there's any stops between here and there, but we're gonna go check it out, aren't we? Yes, we are. Yep, and look at that. Isn't the Jeep look cool with that stuff behind? It does, yeah, it, does. it, it looks does. epic. So behind me is uh, three sisters. I don't know why, but every time there's three of something, they always name them sisters. I think I've seen tons of mountain peaks named three sisters. In any case, we're on the backside of Elephant Butte, right there. Uh, we can still see Merrick. Merrick's huge. Merrick is, uh, it's hard to tell, you know, until you get up. Merrick might be one of the biggest uh, single buttes around here. So uh, we're at uh, John Ford Point. John Ford, famous director. Uh, this is his point. I don't know why. Uh, but if you uh, want, for a buck, you can get a picture of the guy on his horse. Or for five dollars, you can get on the horse and get a picture taken. Uh, like yes. Right on that point. Yes, that is a real horse. We we didn't think it was at first because it was standing so still, but then it moved and turned. So it's a real horse. Same as before. Uh, tour buses stop here. Uh, there's, you know, jewelry sales and some other shops up here. I don't I don't know exactly what's going on up here. Uh, great view back here though. You can catch quite a bit of uh, the famous Merrick and the mittens and all that fun stuff back there. Very nice. Uh, cool point. Uh, it'd be nicer if uh, the horse wasn't there, but whatever. No I feel problem. terrible for the poor horse. Oh, yeah, I have, I have no problem with the, with the horse itself. It's just it'd be nice if we could walk out there without the horse, but yeah. hmm, whatever. I'm oh my gosh. Oh, and then and then coming this way uh, is a dozens of vehicles are headed our way. So yeah. I think we're going to uh, get out of here and head down the road and see what's going on. Oh, by the way. Let me point this out to you. Uh, let me see if I get my bearings. Right there above my finger, Valley of the Gods, right back there. We can see Monument Valley from Valley of the Gods from our campsite. I mean, it's like 20 miles away, but we can see it. They're right next to each other, I mean, like 20 miles away. Maybe not even that far, you know, it's, it's like 25 miles road-wise, but maybe as the crow flies, it might be even less. All right, so we're heading back to the Jeep. We're gonna go down the road. Oh, we just left John Ford Point. We're on the one-way section. There's a most of the most of the, the the road is is one way. It's a big loop, and then there's a two-way section that takes you back to the visitor center. That's Camel Rock. You can kind of see it's got some humps. Remember, in the old days, we didn't have TV and internet, books, so people were like really creative. You know, they look up the stars and see you know bears and stuff, and they look at rocks and see camels, vaguely. Vaguely. There's also a nice field of flowers. Uh, I'm not sure what they are. They might scorpion be. Weed. No, Jen says they are scorpion weed. See, Jen's over there taking pictures of them. Scorpion weed. Don't walk through those. They're poisonous. If they touch your skin, I may have touched some because uh, I have little rashes on my legs, on my shins. So I don't know. Not here, back at back at camp. But here comes somebody. See, there comes somebody. Cheap. Behind me there, that's uh, Rain God Mesa. And then up there, beyond the flags, that's uh, Thunderbird Mesa. And then over there, that little, that's called the hub. Uh, we're just now turning around, kind of kind of making our way back through here. Uh, these are huge mesas. Uh, they're not the, uh, the smaller uh, uh, formations. I mean, you know, look at that thing. It goes way, way back there. And then goes all the way over here. All the way past, past Jen. And then up there, can you see the, uh, that big carved out? I'm, I'm assuming those rocks on the ground are what fell out of it. There's another one over there. We're just like, <laughs> slide it off. Slide it? Slid off? Actually, that might have been made when the river was up there. There was a river here, right? I don't know. I don't know how these are made, honestly. You want me to research stuff before I come out here? Anyway, huge, huge monoliths. Uh, and then back here, there is a, uh, there is that car. But beyond that car, there's uh, sand dunes. And then down the road there, you can see those little tiny spires. There's a whole bunch of formations down there. So it's really pretty. 
you can see why they want to film westerns here. I mean, except for that car. That car kind of doesn't fit in. But otherwise, yeah, it's all westerny out here. You expect to see John Wayne right up. It is kind of funny. We've been to quite a few places lately that have just reminded us how very small we are. The Grand Canyon, Valley of the Gods, and this too. I mean, it. We really are tiny compared to some of these amazing places. So. And it takes a lot to remind me that I'm small. Uh, sorry, it is getting windy, so if there's wind noise, what do you want for free, right? We just drove down the road like, I don't know, a quarter mile. See, this is Rain God Mesa, and we thought that this was one, you know, like, wall. But it's not. It goes all the way back there before it ends up at those structures back there. There's this huge area back here, and it goes way back there in that corner. It's just crazy. Totally didn't expect it to just start to open up, and I was like, was oh, this two mesas? No, it's just a big open area. There had to be a river come through here at one point, right? There was a river here, right? That's how these were made, right? Maybe I'll look it up on the internet. Anyway, uh, there's the sand dunes. Just random sand dunes. I guess probably back there, the wind just blows the sand in, and it just builds up there. Because, you know, it's kind of in that little amphitheater of rock. I don't know. And there's a there's a better shot of Thunderbird. And my head. Thunderbird literally looks like someone painted the side with, like, pictures. Because there's, like, all these black... It looks like drawings, but I don't know if the camera's going to be able to see it because of the way the sun's facing. But it's really, really cool. I don't know. It's hmm. really cool. Yeah. It's like every 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 time we, we travel, you know, a little bit, go around the next corner, there's just totally different. Kind of like uh, Valley of the Gods, kind of like Grand Canyon, you know, it's just every time you go around a corner, it's like, boop, totally different. Uh, we're on the other side of uh, Rain God, and uh, look at that. Look how freaking huge that is. I mean, I have to do this with the camera. We're so close to it, they're like like skyscrapers they're humongous that is the thing here these formations are much much larger than at valley of the gods uh no, no question the mesas the formations everything are just so much bigger but valley of the gods see how these rocks are, are kind of just that reddish brown and, and kind of black or dark gray valley of the gods they're just bright red Totally. They're, I think they're more striking at Valley of the Gods. Don't you agree? Well, and the other thing about Valley of the Gods is you can actually see the different level layers of sediment that form them. So there'll be a black layer and then an orange and a red and it's just, yeah, it's dust just devil. fantastic. And oh gosh, here it comes. Oh, there's a dust devil. Let's see? It's, it's going to miss us, however. Thank God. Yes. Yeah, I, I mean, they're they're both amazing in different ways. I mean, like Dan said, the size and the magnitude of these is just like, holy cow. I mean, I know the camera's not going to even remotely show you how tall that is. I, I don't even it's taller know. than me. Yeah. So, it's just a... Uh, yeah, it's they're, just amazing. they're different. I don't think you could ever say one is better than the other. No. They're different. I mean, they're, they're similar, but different. These are bigger but they're not as bright, they're not as striking as the ones in Valley of the Gods. The, the biggest difference is Valley of the Gods is uh, free and virtually uh, free of, of people Yeah. compared to this anyway, where this is a lot more. W once we get on the road, once we got out here, it's like oh, the it's, traffic started to disappear. Yeah. It's, like, it's like they don't go any further or something. They just turn around right there. No, it's back it's, at John Ford Point. I don't know. I, absolutely beautiful and peaceful back here. I mean, I, it yeah. is much better once you get in off where all the tour buses and tour groups are for yeah. sure but anyway right in front of us there's some more formations but i don't think we're getting any closer to them no, I don't think and then so. there's another mesa back here behind the jeep and we don't know what that's called because we didn't look where we got out the, the map is a little confusing to be perfectly honest with you it's no, not like actually really labeled very well so no, but not. they thank god they do have signs at the, most of the stops to tell you what yes for instance at. uh this this is this is no hiking uh, mesa and and this over here this is no hiking sand dune.
not the best uh, view of it, but that unnamed mesa from before is uh, Spearhead Mesa. And then over behind me, that's a totem pole and something else. I, I don't remember, but you can see it's very, it's very tall rock spire, very thin. And uh, more sand dunes. And then off in the distance, stuff. Behind me here, all of this, and back beyond that, that wall right there, this is all Spearhead Mesa. It's huge. There's several of these. I mean, can you even see that? There. There's several of these that, that, that point out, poke out, whatever, little points uh, along here. I don't know why they call it Spearhead Mesa. It doesn't look like a Spearhead to me. There must be something down here, because there's no way the natives who named this stuff could see what it looked like from the air, right? Unless the aliens took them up. So there must be something here that looks like a spirit. I have no idea. Just for point of reference, that is uh, this side, uh, the northern side of uh, Rain God. Over there's Camel. That's the back side of Elephant Butte. And then uh, Merrick is beyond this tree right back there. That's Merrick. So we've come around. There's uh, Artist Point. Supposed to be able to get some good views back of the, the iconic, you know, Merrick and the mittens and all that stuff from there. Hopefully, hopefully, I want to get the thumbnail. Back here, it's more of these buttes, less of the, the singular formations and more of these huge buttes. They're, they're really cool. It'd be cool if you go up on top of them. I bet the view up on top. I know it is. There's one called uh, Hunts, Hunts Mesa. And you can see right down here into Merrick and the mittens and everything. And I've seen some pictures and they look photoshopped, but I don't think they are. It's just a long lens. They all just sit right back and, you know, right behind one another. And it, it's, it's, it's crazy looking. Tell them why you can't go there, though. No. Oh, Jen wants me to tell you why we can't go there. You can't go there. You can go there, but. You can. There, you have to pay. Uh, a lot of and money. And it's like hundreds of dollars. Yeah. It's like a, they have a couple. They have like a sunrise one where you spend the night and they have another one and they take many, many hours and they cost many hundreds of dollars. Yeah. There's lots of other things you can do around here. And again, they, they cost like hiking, no hiking There's anywhere. no hiking pretty much everywhere except for there's like a couple places, but you have to get a permit. You can go on trail rides, uh, but again, you have to be with a guide on a horse. Well, we saw 15 was it 15 bucks for 15 minutes or something like that? 10, 10 bucks for 15 minutes or 15 bucks for 10 minutes? $15 for 10 minutes. I don't know. A 10 minute horse yeah, ride. Yeah, horse ride. So, I mean, it's not much. It's, I, I assume if you're from France or, or China, it's like, woo, a horse ride in the West, but you know, whatever. There's somebody trying to park where I'm standing apparently. So I'll just get out of their way because that's the kind of guy I am, you know? I, I'm always looking out for other people, you know? It's not like there's a million other spots they could have parked. So anyway, we're gonna head down the road, probably Artist Point, and I guess they didn't want to park. They just wanted to uh, drive where I was standing instead of on the road. Tourists. Well, no, they're from California. Californians. We we just stopped real quick. Um, still, Spearhead Mesa. It's huge, but uh, you see the rock behind me. It's kind of cool. Sitting here on the side of the road. Unfortunately, it's got graffiti all over it. People. White people, oh, I put my name on it. Losers. Anyway, we just want to stop here and show that off. So, it's kind of cool. And it's accessible. It's right here. But behind me, look at that. Look at that huge thing. And the neat thing is, it starts so low. Over in uh, Valley of the Gods, big, you know, 45 degree slopes to get up to the whatever the rock there i mean it's just right there and these this field of what to you might look like little boulders uh those are the size of our motorhome they're huge so just for a sense of scale anyway onward and forward and here we are at the aforementioned artist point i think that's what it's called you can see why there's there's the uh, iconic part of monument valley cool shot Fortunately, the sun went away, and so we got a bunch of big clouds, and I don't think that's as cool looking as it would have been if it was just all in the sun. That's too bad. 
I was hoping to get kind of iconic picture here, but I can't. Anyway, uh, this is Artist Point. It's just a big parking area, and that's why, because you kind of get the whole of the, the lower part of the Monument Valley there. It is a cool, cool picture. You, you can see a small part of them. We came down this narrow trail. You are allowed to hike here. It's not very far, 100 yards maybe. 43 French tourists, according to the, uh, the guy who spoke English and warned us. 43 down this, I mean, that's the trail. That's the wide part. Back, back behind me, it's even narrower. We spent a lot of time waiting for them to all get by us. By the way, this is, uh, what? Window something? What was this called? Window view. Window view. Huh, who would have guessed? And you can see, well, we lost part of it over there, but a lot of the uh, really cool classic formations. I think that's Merrick. You can just see the corner of there. And then there's, there's this one here. I don't know what this is, but there it is. Again, the, unfortunately the clouds showed up. I mean, it does look cool with the clouds with your eyes. I just know it's gonna come out on camera. All right, uh, that's uh, Monument Valley. Uh, word of warning, it's a little bit of tourist hell here. Uh, the road, uh, around the loop wasn't bad, but on the uh, two-way section, just crowded and people who wanna, I mean, it's 15 miles an hour, it's rutted, it's dusty, and people were trying to pass me. And, and riding, the you know, only thing tailgating me, it's like... Is bring some water. We yeah. didn't bring any water and um, I yeah. need some water. Just because, you know, it's only 17 miles, but you know, it takes takes a good two two hours to see everything, so. Yeah. But I mean, there's a store here, I think, and then there's a store down by the highway, so yeah. you, can, uh, you can get stuff before or after. It is absolutely amazing and epic and really really cool experience and i'm sorry i'm like i really need water so i'm like not super fired up right now but it really really is an amazing so, place i'm so glad we came we're gonna let jen go and we're gonna let you go jen's gonna say her thing and we're gonna get out of here so as always thank you guys so much for watching thank you so much for all your amazing comments and we will see you all down the road Bye bye bye